you're a DC fan right now, it is very uncertain of what is going on. Because DC is its own separate thing. DC is now DC Studios, co-founded, co-headed by Pierce Saffron and the director of Guardians 1, 2, the upcoming third, the holiday special, Suicide the, the last Suicide Squad movie, a Peacemaker, even though I'm not a big fan of Peacemaker, but, you know, a lot of people love, love Peacemaker, James Gunn, is, are planning the next 10 years. Now, they've been planning the next 10 years of the shared universe thing with the DC characters that are going to be crossing over from movies and TV and live action, animated video games. You're like, what is going on? This is feels like it's going to be like Star Wars a little bit where there are novels and there's anime shows and there's uh, video games that are uh, that happens in the sh- same universe as the movies and the TV shows and all, all that kind of stuff and that seems like that's the plan but because of that we are like what is that 10 years going to look like who stay who's going you know we're like who are you just going to make a soft reboot just going to you know, throw out what hasn't worked, ha- keep what has worked, or even throw out stuff that has some good elements but has some baggage attached to it. And that is the case. And one of those situations that has a lot of baggage attached to it is Superman. And mainly the, he- the Henry Cavill Superman. And when I talk about baggage, I just mean for, for the average goer, his Superman, his Superman movies were not audience praise. He's greatest character, but the movie, even though I, lo- I love Man of Steel, I am a Man of Steel offender, but Batman v Superman, and and let's just use the theatrical cut for Justice League, because let's be honest, I think the average guy hasn't seen and doesn't care about the Snyder cut. So the theatrical version of Justice League, and ev- and they just haven't the movies that he's been in haven't made a lot of money or Batman v Superman should have made a billion dollars and it didn't and Justice League which is a movie that has Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Aquaman and Cyborg doesn't make a billion dollars um, and the question of should it make two like that should be the conversation not should it, can it break even so there's a lot of baggage for the average goer. I'm wondering if it's a sense like us online, when we heard like Henry Cavill's back as Superman in Black Adam, we're like, yay! And the average goer is like, really? Okay. And he's fine. You know, you know. Because fairly unfairly for the average goer, it doesn't matter how great the performance are, the movie is attached to the actor's performance as that character. So if the audience has the average go and the majority of them do not enjoy that particular movie and they they are that particular character there's a a Tyson of well I might not want to see that uh, the next movie with that actor playing that character again because I you know they didn't enjoy that previous movie or something so I that's the baggage and it got revealed that Henry Cavill was no longer Superman and I'm like I get it I get it, and it actually doesn't fit the plans. If it doesn't fit the plans, like I love Henry Cavill Superman. I I also want him as Bond. So selfishly, the DC fans like oh, but I'm like ha ha ha. The Bond fans me is like ha ha ha. Yes, yes, yes. I can. Uh, he can one step closer to him being Bond. Like that's that's my brain goes by, but. And when you start hearing what the reasoning is and what they want to do with Superman, and it sounds like Superman's the first movie that they want to do under DC Studios, which makes sense. If you start a DC universe, you start you know, if you're redoing a DC universe, you start with Superman. You know, he's the granddad. He's the one that started this whole superhero thing. So, and he's the grand day, so it makes sense. It feels natural if you're starting a DC universe that you start with Superman. I always felt like you might, you might could start with Batman, um, as in like here's a world. Like, let's see uh, a DC universe or see the start of a DC universe 
before the supernatural comes in, before your know, aliens and Amazons and and people who can what and speed forces of the multiverse and you know Green Lanterns all around, and in you know looking back you know in going through a marathon if you start watching the DC those DC films it's gonna be that funny thing of like you know watching this like maybe this is Batman this super grounded Batman movie and but then you in back of your head you realize oh yeah the the Lantern Corps are like are somewhere out there we just at that point didn't know that they exist for me that was always great that I thought that could be a cool cool way to do a uh, start a DC universe but it's also the very natural thing you start with Superman and James Gunn who's heavily on super, uh, who's heavily on social media uh, has made a long statement now I'm going to read this long statement talking with the reasoning and I might like, get you get you get you and, so, and, he, and he says Peter and I, uh, sorry, Peter and I have a DC slate way to go, which we couldn't be more over the moon about. We're being able to share some exciting information about our first projects at the beginning of the new year. And, and you better my ass are making a video when they announce what's the upcoming films that we're going to get under DC Studios. Anyway, um, uh, beyond those, uh, 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 be, uh, Beyond those on the slate is Superman. In the Intel stages, our story will be focusing on the earlier part of Superman's life, so the character will not be played by Henry Cavill. Uh, uh, here we go. But we have a great meeting with Henry, and we are big fans, and we are big fans, and we talked about a number of uh, assigning opportunities to work together in the future. So applying that, hey, it's not done. It's not done. And you don't know, it could easily be Henry Cavill is not in the next standalone Superman movie. It's not going to be played by Henry Cavill, but he might come back because maybe they're playing to crisis, or we know, right? So they, they might do that. But... And hearing this, 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 hearing about this, and which is, our story will be focusing on the earlier part of Superman's life. That part makes sense. Why you you want to recast? If your story makes sense, that you want you know, you want your story to start with an early time, like year two, year three of Superman. Of Clark starting his Superman career, and that makes logical sense. You can't. Henry Cavill was too old to play a young Superman. You know, he did play a young Superman. Man, still fucking amazing, Lee. But it does not fit in the plan and doesn't fit well in the story. Now, the one thing everyone's looking over past for is this. And, and by the way, the deadline article which I'm looking at, looking through this. Their original heading was is James Gunn whiting it. So I'm like, James Gunn whiting a Superman movie? Okay, I'm bored. Oh, this is gonna be wacky. Like Bizarro's probably gonna be the villain or something. Bizarro or Mungle or something on those lines. Like that's that's my brain's gonna be like, yeah Mungle's probably gonna be the villain or Bizarro. Oh but yeah, you never know, but yeah might be the villain. Um and that but Here's the exciting, there's that, the Henry Cavill thing is like, oh, we're not, it is the fan heartbreak moment. But the exciting thing is this, and this is from the Deadline article, and this is just a sentence. Meanwhile, we have heard from sources Amelia to the scene that Gunn and Stafford are in talks with Ben Affleck to stay in the DC universe, but as a director. And then they talk, and then it says he said to comprise his Batman wall in the Flash, open on uh, June sixteenth. Um, which the moment I read that, I got giddy, I got excited, I got like, oh my god, like this, this is awesome because, like, I'm a fan of Ben Affleck uh, as a director. I love Gone, Gone Baby Gone, I love Argo, I love The Town, I even like, uh, was it Live By Night, which is his last movie, and I 
I'm like, and when when it came out that uh, he's going to direct his own Batman, but I naturally I got where everyone got excited, and it was like when everything was going downfall, we're like that was a glimmer of hope. But yeah, I mean, Suicide Squad crap. But at least we got the Affleck Batman movie, the you know, directed Batman movie, and and when it didn't happen, it was like oh. But we got the Batman. We got you know Matt Reeves, the you know. Walker Patterson version, and he, that was a great uh, a placement movie in a way. So that was awesome. Uh, but I got giddy uh, hearing him directing a DC movie, and it could be his Batman. He could be just that. You know what? I feel like that's the most meta thing in the world. A Batman movie directed by Batman, written by Batman, directing another Batman. You might say. Whoever he is directing, if it is a Batman movie, it might be a. You may say it's a Batman Beyond situation. <laughs> it's like a mentor. It's like, yeah, that's literally what it feels. Like if it is, maybe he's doing Justice League. Maybe he's doing like um, a character that maybe maybe he's do he directed for Superman. All we know, um, but. It is a side news with that, but it's disappointing. But as I said, if it doesn't fit the plans, it doesn't fit the plans. You know, if, if Henry Cavill is not fit in the plans, it doesn't fit the plans. It's, it's just that simple. Um, you know, if I love Gavadar as Wonder Woman, if it doesn't fit the plans, it doesn't fit the plans. Um, same with Joseph Gamora as Aquaman. If he's fucking Lobo, I, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of Lobo, okay? I just find Lobo just a stupid character. Same with Zazaro, but yeah, because Zazaro is always like, I did good. No, you didn't. Do, you didn't do good. You 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 went. You killed billions of people by flying through a building. You didn't do good. You dumb idiot. That's that's my thoughts of uh, um. Uh, that's 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 my um f- opinion on Zazaro, but you know you can always change things up. But the thing about Zazaro also is like. About characters like Bizarro and Mungo or all that kind of stuff is like with Superman, we have only have Lex and Zod, and that's it. <laughs> with villains, I mean, we had like Brainiac kind of in Superman three, but not really. Doomsday is kind of the exception. And you know, you got Steppenwolf, but you know, but here's the thing. I'm still excited. I'm still excited that. And you start from a bat. And you start with a Superman movie under this brand new regime, and January. Just give me more and more. Just give me, give me to it, give me to it. Just ah, I'm just excitement. This excitement. 